Okay. So we are tidying things up quite quickly. Um, I am intending to put that tipper unit module in this shed here when we're done with it. For right now it's fine. Um, oh, wait, that's, that's where my uh, rail picking up trailer is. So, yeah, this is all the grass kit, but I think this is a climate controlled um, shed, possibly. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but I could put our cedars and that up here instead. Anyway, let's uh, get this out of the uh, shed. Since we've just serviced it, I might as well go refuel it at the same time. 55 hours, goodness me. I don't even know how much, um, how many hours the Challenger's got, but they're both. I'm kind of sharing, I'm trying to share the load between them, just so that they're not, uh, you yeah, know, one isn't overly weary. Take this over here. And pick up that cedar, plant or whatever. I think that's liquid fertilizer. And there's really not a lot left in it. to check on uh, barrel colours. So yellow is fertiliser, green is herbicide. We are completely out of herbicide except for what's in the Valtra uh, tanks. We do have a lot of liquid fertiliser. We got that, oops, edge enough. We got that early on. I, I knew end of you know, end of the harvest we are going to have a lot of fertilising to do next year. So we'll oh, drag this over to that shed and put it with the rest of the fertiliser. As I said, that's all solid um, solid fertilizer. We just lob that over there. Okay, so that's that's good. That's all our fertilizer liquid, that's solid fertilizer, not a lot of it left. But we use that in the um, in the planter. I don't use this for anything. Don't know what that's all for. should have the bales in there. Yeah. Interesting equipment. Yeah, you've got the uh, AC fans at the top. Oh. Yeah. Old car and generator. And oh, something we can uh, jump the tractors if we need to. Can't pick it up. Turn off C. 
super strength so we don't throw tractors around the yard. That's kind of interesting. Never check back here. That sheds the one on the other side. Old chrome trailer. Oh, that's that shed. And this all used to be stuff in 17, and the markers are still here. But I don't think it works for anything. That's that shed from the other side, and then there's sort of a seed and fertilizer store here. But again, all unusable. then that supply of more solid fertilizer and seed that we take down to the field with the, the planter because frankly the planter doesn't have the capacity. Almost done with our uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 more bales and we're done with our first year of hay. Uh, let's check. How's the sheep's doing? It's already up to three more. And we now have 43 sheep. So you can see these are coming up. So that one's a matter of hours. Some have got a couple of days to go. There's another one, matter of hours. So we are, we are in our major sheep production phase. I guess if I race through to about four o'clock, um, we'll do a, a feed the sheep session. Uh, let's check on that again. So 7,000, I'm thinking that'll be about four. Could potentially need four bales. Fed him already. Okay, so and I am in the lid now. Okay. So I'll use. I think with a stack of three and then we're into the stacks of four. But three should last until the morning. I'm really not sure this tractor could actually cope with uh, four bales at a time. Okay. I guess we're about to find out. Stop. There is a little light on its tail at three. And again, as far as cleaning up the grass all the time, I really don't need to worry about it because they don't have, well, I guess they're, they're breeding at the moment, but until spring, they don't have any production. So, you know, 10% loss in production or 20% loss in production, you're not producing, so it's not a problem. Actually, yeah, no, we probably wouldn't have got away with a four count yet. 
the food requirements now up to 300,000 it was was it 272 when we started today Okay, so that is sheep tending, taking care of. So I'm kind of hoping that the food is supposed to last about 48 hours, but because we are breeding sheep like nobody's business right now, we're not going to make 48 hours. And that, you know, I, it feels to me like we're not even going to make 24 for the most part so I'm going to have to feed them tomorrow night just to be on the safe side because that that's 19,000 litres of hay in there was it yeah 19,000 litres from seven anyway how are we doing it's four o'clock. We can watch the sun set in the south over there. So the sun rises over there and sets over there. Uh, speed up time. If I could speed up time. Okay, so I'm guessing 14 hours to seven, so about 15 hours again. It will be spring. Yay, spring. Oop. Spring is here. Yeah, loan interest, 900 pounds. That's, that's a big hit. Oh, the sun's quite high up. Let's uh, feed the dog. Hey, doggy. Food. Okay. Check back on the sheep again. So the sheep really aren't clean. It's spring. So the sheep are now producing wool. It's 5.16 already. So I need to get that cleaned up because that's affecting the... Uh, the wool production, 284 sheep. Oh. So we went up another 37 overnight. Gee. So like I said, this is our big time. Oh, we already have a full pallet of wool as well. So yay sheep, sheep are being productive. Let's go clean up the grass and make them more productive. I probably should have done this last night because we've effectively lost nine hours of production to uh, uncleanliness rates. Uh, anyway, hello. Trigger detection for that gate. It's. It's, it's very, um, it's very gate centric. You can't do it from that post. You have to do it on the gate side of the post. All righty, how much? Not even on the round. How's the ground temp? Still only 6 degrees. So we're not planting sunflowers today. At least not right now. And a little bit 
caught up on the uh, food trough. Okay, so animals need less care right now. Theoretically, I think they're supposed to be able to eat the grass, but I'm not sure that's working on this map. With the wall, we'll probably use the Lindner since it's, it's easier to manoeuvre. Thank you. Because we're going to have to approach this one from this side. So drive around here, turn around, come back, scoop it up. There's another one there we need to move. I'm using the... Uh, using the Ivor Williams trailer for seed at the moment. I have got a trailer in here though. Oh no, that is the Ivor Williams. Oh, I don't have anything small I can just run about in. We'll unhitch the Land Rover and uh, Drive up to the top field to see what uh, see what's what. Now I've also downloaded the uh, new tractor uh, Land Rover mods as well. Okay, that is not growing. I'm thinking that looks like it's grown a stage. Drive around the edge of this field. It's a little bit easier. So I can't do anything fertilizer or herbicide wider on this field because we used a planter with, with fertilizer in. So this field is not, has not updated its growth stage at this point. And this field also looks like we've got a stage of growth on it. Let's check map status. So growth yeah this is darker both of those and I think we're fully fertilized so there are so many weeds on these fields I want to get them done um, we'll stop by this grass field on the way back and check that one but it looks like I'm coming out with the with the Beltra to spray at least these two fields and then we'll have to see how much herbicide we've got or we use figure out if we have to go for the store for some more. I have to wait till it starts growing before I can kill the weeds. You can only if you can only apply one thing to your fields at a time, and I've yeah. al I've already put fertilizer on that field, so it has I can't put herbicide down. Yep. Right there. Yep. On the right. Yes. Okay. Easy. That 
that's uh, canola, I think. Now it's yeah, that's not started growing, so we can't deal with the the weeds there. That's okay. I think we've got what's it? Field two and five. We can go and uh, whatever it is, eight. Field two and eight, we can go and deal with now. I might need to do it with the uh, um, what's it? The GPS on. This country, they're not. What country is it? England. Okay, so that's the Land Rover dealt with. Now, uh, so I figure we go get the Beltra and start spraying those two fields, and then we can forget about them until harvest, which will be nice. Herbicide tanks are almost full on this. Not quite, but we have got every last piece of fertilizer, or herbicide that was on the farm, loaded. Okay, what do I want to check? Let's check. Hmm. Let's select the rear tank. Current spray rate, yeah, that's good. Oops. I don't really want to be running around the field at a spray rate of zero and killing all the weeds off. That's kind of cheating. But, uh, 300's a good number, I think. Sheep. Do we have 400 sheep? So sheep. I want five, 1,500 sheep. Are you eat it? Oh no, we've got 284 sheep. With more coming all the time. We're going to sell them. So we can have shepherds by. Same reason they eat cow meat and pig meat. I think is kind of disgusting. It's fine. Yeah, I like sheep. I don't like goat meat. Goat meat's very, very, very strong flavour. Sheep, not so much. Is that your car there? No. What happened to my car? I think that's the uh, local crime unit. Local crime unit? Yeah, local police force are out looking for criminals and they've just parked their. Uh, Can you speed? Not unless. Can you speed the trailer to make an escape? Okay, actually I can probably do this one if I stay in a top-down view. That's huge. What? That thing of all the like all that stuff right there. Yeah, that's a good thing. Is that fertilizer? No, that's herbicide. Say goodbye to my weeds. spot there died. And then there was a couple of spots over here that I missed planting. But, uh, for the 
most part. Probably. Not sure there's anything else left. Oh, this is slow. Good grief. It's one of the reasons why I kind of want a self propelled sprayer. The one I'm looking at runs faster than this. It's nine o'clock in the morning on the farm. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to run sweeping rows. harvest these in late summer but right now it's springtime so that's not happening. School's over time. And this year we pass. I'll go back to your house next week. And we are chewing through the weeds so that's a good thing. So the application of weed killer or herbicide here is going to kill the weeds off and we won't have to worry about weeds on this field until we harvest. Not until next year. Pretty much not until five seconds after we harvest and then the weeds appear. Because <laughs> I don't know why that happens. But it's a quirk of uh, seasons on a farming simulator where uh, you kill the weeds and now they can, they're allowed to 